I don't see the humor in it whatsoever. Is there anything that you saw as being a part of this? You said like there were times where you just were sitting there and looking around and saying, what it was like, it was, was it like you were at home, like the rest of us at times and just like a ping pong ball? Like, what am I, or a tennis ball? What am I watching back and forth? I was like, these bitches are crazy. <laughs> like, no, it was like, there were times when it was like, is this for real? Oh my God. Well, you know what it is? And I understand it. And this is the nature of reality. You have to, in real life, we would talk about something and we might talk about it a couple of times, but we'd move on. In reality TV, well, no, because they, they want to hit it from different angles. So you're, 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 you're beating the dead horse. You're constantly, and I'm telling you, it, that was the most challenging thing for me because I live my life in my natural, I live my life in my real life where I, I, I dispel the drama. I get rid of the drama and I move on. I make peace with it and I move on. That's a part of my self-care. That's a part of my well-being. It's part of my evolution. Well, the nature of the, the, the show doesn't allow you to do that. You know, so you have to keep, and it's just like, oh my God. And I found myself like, okay, Sheree, like you gotta be present. You can't just tune out. <laughs> I mean, you can't just tune out. So that was a challenge. Yeah, and then it was boring to me. I'm like, oh my God, I'm so annoyed. If I hear this one more time, yeah. It, it, it is a good point, right? Because like, if you're the type that just, we deal with it, we've moved on. That's like the peaceful life that I've created for myself, which is not easy. It takes all of us hard work to get there. But once you get there, isn't life just beautiful? Like, you know, you just learn like, okay, I'm alive today. You're alive. We've dealt with this. Who cares? And let's move on because life is short. And we know that because that's what 2020 taught us. Life is short and it's not promised. So that's the hard part about reality for me. You know, I think some of the women love it. I mean, they love like some people. And I used to be that. I used to thrive. Drama was exciting, you know, and sometimes you can thrive on it. I don't thrive on drama. Drama will make me sick, you know. So being a friend is amazing. So yeah, I don't know. It's like the perfect place to be because you could just show up for the parties. And... Or not. I'm a friend. I don't have to show up. That's that's what was nice. When they had to work, we were we we all went to you know we did a a, a getaway together. A couple of things I didn't feel like doing. I had had enough. I was good. I just wanted some wusa time. I can do that. They don't have the luxury of doing that, you know, as a full housewife. So. For the friend, I'm the friend with lots of benefits. I would, it's good to be the friend with benefits sometimes. Friend with lots of benefits. <laughs> I would think that this will be good for, you know, whoopash body butter. Like I would think, you know, like it's a great platform. Like, thank you. Right? I, I, like, let's listen. get the word out. I mean, I would think that as it's, it's a huge ass. platform. I did. I tried to whoop all their ashes. I did. Every chance I got. You know, I pulled out the whoop ash and I'll tell you, the ladies were so amazing. Every single one of them was very supportive when it came to, you know, um, you know, my product and what I was trying to do. Erica even made a video, white bitches get ashy too. <laughs> so it was very cute, it was very supportive. And um, yes, I'm gonna take advantage of, of, of this platform. You should. Yeah. Has this experience, like, how is it, has it changed you at all? I mean, I know it's only been a season and like you're a friend, but like it's your, you know, and I, I don't mean change in a bad way either. It could be some positive. Yeah. Way. No, not yet. No, no changes yet. I mean, I like to, who knows, you know what, maybe, maybe it has, you know, I mean, I'd like to think I'm constantly evolving and that could have, you know, I, for whatever reason, I, I felt like I was called to do that. So yes, I will say it has made me a better person. Well, you know, we all know, you know, in the beginning, Garcelle mentioned this, you know, you were on a show where you were someone's ex, you were, you know, Will Smith's ex. Well, what is, go I mean, tell us here today behind the velvet robe, T tell your new friend, David, like what is going on with you? I mean, are you dating? Are you single? T tell me everything here. God, it's complicated. No, you know, I'm ready. I feel like I'm re more ready than I've ever been. Um, and ready for what? Ready to date? Yeah, but really ready to find my person. Or ready for my person to, ready for us to find each other, you know? 
Absolutely. I feel like I'm being prepared. It was a lot of things, a lot of work that I had to do um, to get to this place and stuff that I didn't even realize. This is what 2020 was for me, where so many things as you start to pursue, um, you know, just understanding and as you start to do the work, and you got to be ready to do the work because things will come up that you might not be ready to deal with, you know, but they come up and it's like, well, what are you going to do? You're going to sweep us back under the rug this time or are you going to deal with us? Because what you sweep under the rug is going to be under the rug. It doesn't go anywhere. You know, and what you don't deal with will eventually deal with you. And that's what happened. And I was receptive and I could, you know, I had the time to do it. I didn't have to. I had the time to do it. And it was just a rich, I tell you, it's been a rich two years for me, a really, really rich two years. Because let's face it, it is so easy to just sweep things under the rug. I am so good at that. Let's just sweep, sweep, sweep. But it, 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 it doesn't serve you well. I mean, sometimes, you know, we're, we're busy, we're doing things, you know, we have responsibilities. We can't always deal with things in the moment, but you gotta, it's that self-care. It's, it's, you know, it's shutting off for a couple of hours a day and just devoting it. Like we have to do that. We have to take care of ourselves, you know, our heart, our soul, our mind. So what is your type? Like, what are you looking for in this partner of yours now that you've done the work? Where's my list? <laughs> I have a list somewhere. Do you? you? Know, yes, I do. I said, I'm going to be specific. I'm going to write this down. I want him to, I want him to be witty, funny, spiritual, um, where he's, he's on his grind. He's pursuing um, his purpose. And uh, he's, he's, he's conscious. He's conscious of the fact that he's here for a reason and he's got a work to do. I don't want somebody that I have to, well, let me, I don't want to go into what I don't want. I'm going to keep it affirmative and positive. I would love for him to be over six foot two. I would love that. Six foot, six foot two or, I would love that. He has to have a beautiful smile, generous, and generous don't have nothing to do with money. It's a condition of your heart because you can have a lot of money and be stingy. You can be, you know, not have, have not so many means, but still be generous, you know? So I, that's what I want. Who just physically, like if I was just to say, let's, you know, let's think of all these people we know, like who in Hollywood or, you know, just someone. I don't know. And I'm trying. I'm thinking I, tall and I can't really, nothing's coming to mind. I'm, I'm really trying. I'm praying on that. I'm praying to really see the way God sees and not be so superficial. You know, I'm praying that when he comes my way, I'll see his heart. You know, I'll see.